Hey guys, it's Belle and in this video we are going to be reading through and translating the second half of the third part of the Old Saxon Genesis poem. And if you want the links to my videos going over the first parts of this poem, you can find those in the description of this video. And as usual, if you want to take a pause and have a go at translating this on your own before I give my translation, feel free to do so. We're going to be reading through this section in Old Saxon, which accounts why the angels were sent to Sodom by God. So I'll read the Old Saxon and forgive me as usual if my Old Saxon pronunciation is not the greatest. So, Skold and Sie befiedern, what dar the fervach der the umis Sodoma burg, Sundion not warmer than manna wari, the ani have the menes filu, fear in work ye frumid. Tho ye hord and Sie fear the carman aller the selly the ye when. Sunia liudi firdin work fremion. Was dar fiundo ye mang. Raither the wichtio. They are un that warm have them their liudi for laded. That lone was thwart handum mickil mid mordu. That ye are oft main driven. Than a sat im thar un in an burg atal burthic man loth mit them liudium. The oft love God as warachte and thesser a worldy. Have the im thar the whale on o ye nuach, God as ye unan. He was God the weirdig, he was Abraham as adelic nosless, his brother barn. Ni was better a man um be ordena status mid gum custium. You were it mid you with you. Im was us a wild and hold. Thwart is seld neich, sunnath you huita. Allor do bok no berachtost, thwa stwond hie fordeth es burlches dore. Thwa ye sach he an avond engelos twain e gangan an thea gardos. So sea fan gode quamun ye werede med ye witio. Thwa sprak he em san mit his word and thwa. Geng thwa te jenes en di gode thankare. He van kuninga, thes he em thea helpe ferlech. That he was to say amid his old man Luachian. Yak he say an Kneokusta in the Kuskobad that see a swacht in his selida. Quat that he himself a storm gavi, Sulicus quatas, so im God have thee for leaven on them landa. So, what does this all mean? Skolun sie befidan. This refers to what the angels are doing, and it's they had to discover or find out. Now this next clause, I should say, is a little bit more complicated, but um, we'll start with the nominatives. So, what, wari, what there would be, var, there, in that place, ferdach der da manna, of the wise men, sunni onot huamera, free of sin, um burg within the city of Sodom. The ni have the menes filu firdin werke ye frumid. They who had not... Yefumid is accomplished or performed. Menes filu, much of sin or of the fearing work or the shameful deeds. So the angels were sent to the city of Sodom in order to find out how many men there were there who had not performed many sins. Though ye heard them say, Fair the carman, allor the say, though ye win, sunga liudi fearing work fremion. Now this bit is kind of difficult, but what we basically have is a regular nominative verb accusative construction, and then we have an accusative infinitive construction. So what this is, is though you heard and see fear the karm on Allah when so then they heard the the wicked or the t the shriek of the doomed men, karm fear the on Allah when in each of all of the the dwelling places basically so the angels heard the scream of the doomed men in all those places when uh when they heard that the various people were performing the wicked deeds so the sundagaliudi and fremion accusative and an infinitive this is functioning as our oblique speech here in this 
second clause of the sentence. So the angels heard that the various people were performing the wicked works. And when they heard this, then they heard the scream of the doomed men upon each of the people. So the angels in this almost have futurity. They're able to see into the future. And when they see the men of Sodom performing wicked deeds, they already hear the screams of the doomed men, even though that doom hasn't yet come about because they've got foreknowledge from God. There was a gathering of fiends there, of angrier spirits. There on that warm hovdun, there lewdy farladed. They who had farladed, they had led, there lewdy, lewdy, that people, on that warm, into that sin, and warm has implications of sexual immorality, basically. So into that sexual immorality. That loan was thwart handum mikil min mordu. That recompense was yet at their hands, great with murder. So th there was a great recompense at at hand for them with slaughter, with murder. That here is referring to but or because rather, because see are oft main driven because they often committed sin. And we learned from the previous video that this sin was, it seems like this sin was pedophilia, um, engaging in pedophilic acts. The euphemism the text uses is made children aware of um, sexual sin, but this is probably a euphemism for molesting children, unfortunately. Um, Thana sat im thara an inan burg, adal burdig man. So then, an adal burdig man loth, loth the uh, noble or the worthy man, basically. Sat im thara an inan burg, sat there within the city, mid them liudium, with those people. Thie oft loth godas warachte, who often enacted God's praise on this world in this world. Havda im tharawelono yinuach. He had enough joys, guadas yunan, and he had won enough of joys and enough of good things. He had won enough of joy and good things. Because he was go the weirdik, he was worthy to go in before God. He was worthy before God. He was Abrahamas atal the knoslas. That's a hard word to say. Other Liknoslas. He was of Abraham's worthy descent. Is brother Barn, the child of Abraham's brother. Ni was better man umbi stados. There was no better man among the places of Jordan. Mid cum custium, with good characteristics. You were the protected or um, sh shred, basically, sh sh I don't know the word for this, there's a word for this, um, shod with knowledge. So he's a very wise man, Lot. Im was usa waldant halt. He was loyal to our Lord. Thwarte sed la nech sunna huitta. When the white sun bent to settler, to its settling, to its going down, basically. The brightest of all beacons, and this is just one of those repetitions that's typical of early Germanic poetry, but especially of Old English poetry, where they like to say one thing and then they'll just give you a synonym for it, sometimes to fit the meter, other times just because they like repeating things. Um, it's a bit of a quirk of medieval um, Germanic poetry. So, the brightest of all beacons, thwas dwant hie for the thesbrugis dora. Then Lot stood before this city's door. So, Lot is standing before the doors of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah at sunset. Thwa yisach he an avan inglos twaina gangan an thergarthos. Then he saw in the evening, two angels walking. So this is another acute of inventive construction. He saw, Gisache, Engelos Twene Gangan, two angels to walk, but this means he saw 
that two angels were walking, on Thea Gardos, into those enclosures, so Thea von God Quamon, as thus they came from God, you were the Mediwitio, protected with knowledge. Now, notice here, and this is one of the reasons it's really useful having the gloss, because you can see it in colours quite clearly, how Lot is directly uh, framed as comparable to the angels. So the angel, sorry, Lot was Yewaret Mitiwitio. He was protected with knowledge. And the angels are Yewaret Mitiwitio. They are protected also protected by knowledge. It's just that Yawerire is in the plural, that's why it's got the E ending there, because there's two angels and there's only one of Lot. So we can see here how the, te the text of the Old Saxon Genesis is equivocating Lot with these angels in the grammar that it's using here, which is quite an interesting thing. And perhaps this equivocation is partly because Lot is going to be sharing in the knowledge of the angels, the angels are going to tell Lot this knowledge about the destruction of the city, and it's this knowledge which protects the angels too, because they know that they need to leave the city before God wreaks his destruction upon it. So, Thuo sprak he im san mit his warden tuo. So, when he saw them coming, Lot sprak he im, he spoke to them, San mit his warden tuo, soon with his words. Geng thuo to yenes in the god of thankare. He went towards them and thanked God. Hevan kuninga, he thanked the heaven king. Thes he im thea helpa ferlech, because he, um, sent him this help that he must say mit his orgum an luokian that he might look upon them with his eyes ya he say an kneo kusta in the kuskobad but he fell to he sort of um kissed them on his knees and keenly asked kuskobad that sea sought in his serida that they would seek his dwelling, basically. Quat that he himself as dwarm Gavi said that he would give them the judgment of such a man himself. Sulikas Gwathas, of such a good thing. So im God have the farlifen an them landa which God had granted them in that land, because remember we saw earlier in this quote that Lot was given many good things, he was blessed in many ways, and when Lot sees the angels coming, he says, you know, come to my house and I will share with you some of this bounty that I have received from God. So, on to the next part, lines 866 to 892. Sea ni urdon te lata huerigin, ak se gengun im an is guest selly, and the he im jungar duom fremide ferachlika, sea im filo sagdun wararo wordo. Tar he an wak to sat, held his herdan bodan helaglika, god as engelos. Sea im guada so filo, suoda si sagdun, suard furdur skret. Narva nacht an skion, nachida morgan an alla reselida jehuem, ucht fugal sang for the daga hroma, thua haftun usas drocht in as boton, thea firdina jefundan, thea dar fremedun men umbi sodoma burg. Tho saudun sia loda, that thar mord mikkel mano barno, skolda der lio dio werthan, en di octes landa so samo. Hietunin a thor yerewian, and the hietun thor gangan thanan, firdian inna von dem fiundum, and the ladian is free mid him, ill edis adel borana. He ni have that ar is adalia san mer, but an is doctor twa, mid them ye hietun sie, that he er daga wari an einum berga upan, that inna brinan di fiorni befengi. Tho he te der ferdi ward yahun ye rewid. Gengun engelos, havdun ina behandum hevan kuningas bodon, ledun ina en di lerdun langohuila, untat sea ina ye brachtun bi utan. 
Jetun, dat sie jon je hörden zu der Kirchlun Mikkel brachon an dem Burgium, dat sie jo und wach sauen an Thius die sehr an dem Lande Livion Weldin. So, what does all of this mean? Sehr ne wurden te later huergen. They did not come about too late, too late again, in any way. So they did not come too late. Um, but they went to his guest house, Lot's guest house, that is. And he hey him younger the warm fremide ferachtlika. And he performed the service for them ferachtlika just devoutly or piously. Sea im filo sagdun wardo wardo. They said to him, much filo wardo wardo of the wise words or wise speeches. Far he an wachtu sat. There he sat in watch, held his hair on board on hilaglika. He kept his lord's commandment, but more likely this means the messengers. He protected the messengers of his lord holily, God as Angelos, the angel of God. Now, this poem is kind of euphemizing what the original Bible says, because Lot kept watch in the Old Testament account of this by offering his two daughters, who are mentioned later on, to the crowd who wanted to rape these angels. Um, so this text glosses over that and euphemizes it, but he just says that he protected them and doesn't say exactly what he did in order to protect them. But there we go. We have to um, protect the image of our hero Lot in this story. And so Sia here is they is referring to those angels. Sia im guada sofilo suadas isakdun. They said im to him sofilo so much guadas of good suadas of truth. So they told him a lot of good and true things. Suarad for the skreid, the darkness advanced basically. Narwa nacht an skion. The narrow night in the sky, or the dark night in the sky. Nahida morgan an alara selida The more the morning neared or came near an alara selida upon each of the dwellings. Uchtfugal sung for the daga fluama. So this is an interesting word here, uchtfugal, which is like. Well, the Ucht is this sort of period in the early morning, sort of before you, the sun has really fully come up. The sun is sort of rising, and it's before people really get up for the day, um, or the sun is maybe about to rise. But it's a time when no activity happens, that's for sure. And then Fugal, of course, is bird. So it's not clear precisely which bird this means, although it probably refers to a rooster. Um, so the rooster sang for the daga roma before the daybreak. Thor havdun usas dlochtinas bodon, they are firdina bifundan. Then the messengers bodon usas dlochtinas of our Lord, havdun they are firdina bifundan, they had discovered bifundan they are firdina, the crimes. They are dar fremden men umbi sodomaburg, those which the men there accomplished or committed Fremidun, Umbi Sodomaburg, within the city of Sodom. For Sagdun Sia Lotha, then they said to Lot that Tharl Mordum Bikil Mano Barno scold at their Leo the Werthon. That, um, we'll do the nominatives first, that Mordum Bikil, a great slaughter. Skold awerthon should come to pass, Marno Barno of the children of men, that are the of these people. So they told Lot that there was going to be a great slaughter of these people. And the Orc this land of Sosamo, and also a sort of killing of the land of Sodom itself. Hietun Ina Thor they ordered him then 
to be dressed or to be prepared. And this is another accusative infinitive construction. So they ordered him to be prepared. They ordered that he be prepared, basically. And he thor gangan thanon. And in this one, they're repeating the verb hietun, but they're not repeating the pronoun ina because you can just assume it from the last one. So they ordered him to walk gangan thanon from there. Firdien ina von them fiundun to for him to depart or to withdraw from them fiundum, from these fiends, and the lady on is free mid him, and to lead his wife with him, Idis Adal Borana, the noble born woman. Haini have the dar an is Adalias than male, but an is doctor toi. He did not have there of his stock or of his descendants. Any more, botanis doctor toi, except his two daughters. Me them ye hier tunsie, that here erdagi wardian enum burdaka upan, that ina brdinan li fiordani befengi. Um, they ordered them to go with them, basically. So the angels ordered them, uh, these are the two daughters. To depart mid them, with them. That here er daga wardian in Burgum upan that ina breathing and the fear of Nibifengi. So, um, that so that he would be, um, he would be, um, this is referring to Lot, an enum berga upan upon a mountain, er daga before the day breaks. That ina brdinan li fir ni befengi, so that the burning fire does not consume him. So, what this is saying is, Lot did not have any more of his descendants um, in that place except for his two daughters. Um, they, and this is probably referring actually to the angels, ordered those daughters to go with them, so that he, and that's referring to Lot, before the day came to pass, would be up upon a mountain, so that the brinandi fear, the burning fire, ni vifengi ina, would not surround him, would not consume him. So the angels are telling Lot to get out of the city with his daughters and with his wife. Thor he te therde ferdi wardi gahun yerewid, gengun engelos, havdun ina behandum. Hevan kuningas bodon, ledun ina en i lerdun lango huila, untat sea ina ye brachtun biter la burg utan. So, um, tho he te tereferdi warga hun yerewid. So, when he became warg, te tereferdi is for that journey, basically. Gahun yerewid quickly prepared, so he quickly got ready for that journey. Gang on Engelos, the angel so the angels departed. Havdun ina behandum hevon kuningas bodon the um messengers bodon hevon kuningas of the heaven king Havdun ina behandum they had him by the hands, which I think is kind of a sweet image. Laidun ina they led him and he lairdun lango huila and they guided him for a long time, untat sea ina ye brachtun bi utan, until they had brought him from that city outwards, so out of the city. Hietun that sie yo ni ye herdin, sulik ye hlun mikil, brachon an dem burgium, that sia yo undlebak sawen. On theu thie sea on them lande livian weldin. So, they ordered, this is probably referring to the angels, that sie yo ni ye herdin sulik ye hlun mikil brakon on them borgim. So, what I'm translating this is this as is that that they not. So that even though they hear basically such sulik lehlun nickel, such a great din brakun on them to crash a 
upon those city, that see your underback sawen, that they still not look back, underback behind them. This is a old Saxon metaphor for looking behind, literally under your back. Um, so the angels told them not to look behind them, even though they hear Sulikiehlun Mikil, such a great sound breaking upon the city. An theu thie sea an them lande, Livion Weldon. On those ones who had wanted them to live in that land, so that's presumably referring to the people who wanted to live in the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. So the angels have brought Lot and his wife and daughters out of the city and they're advising them to not look behind you and even though you're going to hear like a very terrible noise coming from the city, do not look back upon the people who chose to dwell in the city of Sodom. So, on to the last part. Eft wither heilega wardos, godas engelos, gengons niumo, sitodonte sodomo, than an sudar for loth thoro ira leira, flor thara liodio yamang, terre viordo mano, tho ward dach kuman, tho ward thar yeslun mikil, himle bitengi, brast and ibracoda, ward thero burgeo, ye willi crocas ye fullet. Ward thar van rara so filu fures ye fallen. Ward fair do carm, leather liodio. Logna al vifeng, bret buru sietu. Bran al samat, stain in the erda, and the so manak strid in man sultun in the sunkun. Swave al brin on the well after the weekium. Wardagastadun leathers loan gelt. That lant in besunk, the erda an afgrundi. All words fars build it for sort of mariki. That is any seg ni yenas, yak so bedod it an dod seo, so it noch te daga stand it, floor das ye full it. Thwo have done irro firindari al sodom theot, seiro ant goldan. Botan that far the irro einot ent leder waldant an is willian, and the theo wif mid im. Threo mid them thena. Though ye heard in sea thera fiora qualm, burgi brinnan, though thar under back visach, it is adal borden, siu ni well de thera engelo leira lestian, that was loath as bruth, that lang the siu on them land a livian worsta, though siu on them berga ye stort, and the under back visach, though war the siu to stain. Thar siu stand on skal manum te merthu over the middle guard, after te ewan dage, so lango so tis er the levot. So, what does this mean? Thwo hurlovun eft wither helega wardas. So, nonetheless, hurlovun eft wither helega wardas means the holy wards or the holy guardians disappeared again. God as angelos, the angels of God, gang on sniomo, they went quickly, sidodun to sodomo, they journeyed to Sodom. Which is kind of interesting because it implies that the angels themselves are the ones who are going to be wreaking that destruction upon the city of Sodom, although we will see here that there's much that's coming out of the sky as well. So, Thanan Sudarfuar Loth, then Loth journeyed southwards. Thordo ira leira, through their advice, so they had told Lot to go southwards. Floch thera liodio yamang. He fled the gathering of those people, or this could read um, a gathering of those people fled, although given that the city of Sodom is not yet aware of what's going to come, it's unlikely that they are the ones who are fleeing. Derde um the the doomed men, basically, or the wicked men. Then the day has come, or now the day has come. Then there was a great din. Now, Himele Betengi is almost like reaching all the way up to heaven, which is very, 
I always get this image of like a mushroom cloud, but like from a nuclear blast, but that's not fully, I think, what's happening here. It's a sound that's going up. Brast in the brachada. It burst and it crackled or cracked. So, um, each Yehulik Therdo Burgeo of these cities, Warth it became Rokas Yefulit, filled with smoke. So it really does sound like a mushroom cloud, doesn't it? Wartharfan Aradras or Filu Firas Yefalan, because so Filu Firas, so much of fire, Warth Yefalin, had come to fall, Fan Aradra, from the Rhoda, from heaven. Wartha Feir the Karm, the scream of the doomed men came about of the Leidar Loliodio, of the loathsome people. Logna al Befeng, Prayed Burugui Setu. All of the fire surrounded the broad city dwelling. Bran al Samat, everything gathered together burnt, stain in the erda. Stone and earth, and he saw Manakstridin Man Sultan and the Sunkun, and so many warlike men, Stridin Man Sultan and the Sunkun, Sweval Barin and the Well after the Wikum. The the um, burning brimstone fell off a lot, you know, along the villages, basically. So in the, on the outlying villages from the centre of the city, there's a bunch of fire falling into the centre of the city, and brimstone, which is also burning, falls in the villages on the outside. So it's almost like there's some um, slightly lesser punishment for the regions lying slightly outside of Sodom, in the, in the periphery, so to speak. Waragas thododun leithas longelt. So... The Wargas. Now, this is given in the dictionaries as criminals. I like to imagine it as wargs, you know, like the fantasy wolf like creatures. The wargs suffered, follow them, Lathus Longelt. The Longelt is, this is interesting. Well, this is sort of the use of the word gelt here links back to the Wergelt practices where um, the penalty, the criminal penalty for killing a person or for injuring a person would be that a man would have to pay a certain amount of gold to the victim's family. Um, but therefore the gold itself and the payment itself came to be just a metaphor for vengeance or recompense. So loan guilt is literally the sort of rec recompense. It's not money, it's the, the vengeance itself. Lathas, the lo of the loathsome one, of or of a loathsome thing. So the wargs endured the retribution of a loathsome thing. This loathsome thing, of course, being the literal fire which was burning them alive. That land in besunk, that land collapsed inwards. The earth collapsed in onto its foundation, basically. All worth for spilled it Sodom Mariki. The whole kingdom of Sodom was destroyed. That is enigseg ni yenas. That such that um, any seg any warrior or any man is of it ni yenas did not survive. Ak so bedorded an dorseu, but um, thus he died in his death place, basically in the Dead Sea. I should say, he died in his Dead Sea. So it noch tedara stendit floor das ifulit, so that the city of Sodom still stands noch stendit floor das ifulit, filled with the flood tedara to this very day. Um, so this is saying that the, the land of Sodom collapsed and it was filled by the Black Sea. For Havlun Ilo Firindadi. Al Sumon Tormothiot Sero and Goldan. Then Al Sodomothiot, all of the people of Sodom, Havdun and Goldan, they had repaid Iro Firendadi all of their wicked deeds, Sero, painfully. So 
this is almost saying that now, well, now that the people of Sodom are even, almost, they've, they've paid their dues, almost, to God, um, with all of the pain that was brought about. Botan that thar ino eina ut ent leda waldant an is William. So, except for the fact that there, irdo eina, one of them, waldant ut ent leda, the ruler had led out on his willian in his will. So they're saying that all of the people of Sodom had paid the price for their sins, except for the one man from among them whom God had led out of the city in his will. Any thiu we mid him, and the woman with him. Thriu mid them feina, three women with the one man, basically. Thor ye heard them say, Therlo Theuluquam. Then or when ye heard them say, they heard Therlo Theuluquam, the killing or the slaughter of that people. Burgi Brinan, the they heard, this is an accused infinite construction, so then they heard Burgi Brinan, the city to burn, or they heard that the city was burning. Thor thar under the back besach, it is other born. Then the noble born woman, it is Adol Boren, Besach Undrabak, she looked behind her. Siu ni welde, Thera Engelo Leira Lestion. She did not wish uh, Lestion to follow the Thera Engelo Leira, the advice of the angels. That was Lothas Brut. She was Lot's wife. Than lang the siu on them landa libyan muasta. Um, she had been Lot's wife for as long the siu on them landa libyan muasta as she had been able to live on that land. So presumably she was she was brought to the city of Sodom as Lot's wife, and she maybe wasn't from there because it's saying that she was Lot's wife. For as long as she had been in the city of Sodom. Thwas you on them berga ye stort, and the underbak ye sach. Then she stood on them berga upon the mountain, and the underbak ye sach, and looked behind her. Thwa warth siu te stena. Then she turned te stena into stone. Now the Original Old Testament, of course, says that she turns into a pillar of salt. So the Old Saxon is giving us sort of a different interpretation of that here. Thar siu standan skal manum te marthu over the middle guard. There she skal standan, she must stand manum te marthu as an example for men over the middle guard, over middle earth. After the eon dage, afterwards until the last day, so long will Sotheus er the lebot, for as long as this earth shall live. And there we go. That is as much as we have of the old Saxon Genesis. The last fragment cuts off here, unfortunately, and we don't get to see the rest of it. However, what we do have is an old English translation of this whole poem, the Genesis poem from start to finish. We have two different versions of the old English Genesis poem. And I would be very happy if people had an interest in it on doing a similar video like this, reading through the old English version of it. I do intend to do a video comparing the old English version with the old Saxon version, particularly because parts of it match up very closely and they permit rather interesting linguistic comparisons. So if you want to see a video of me doing a similar thing for the Old English Genesis, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to get on that. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been great going through the Old Saxon Genesis. I feel really happy and proud that I was able to put this out there for people. If you want me to teach Old Saxon or Old English or any of the other languages that I do on this channel, you can subscribe to my Patreon, which will be linked in the description of this video. You can also join my Discord server, where I tend to post these 
glasses as pictures before I turn them into videos. So you can get semi early access there. And it's also just a fun community of like minded people. We get together, we share memes, we sometimes have movie nights. It's great fun. You should join us. Um, and until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you have a Godenadach, as they would say in Old Saxon, a good day. Bye, everyone.